Hi everyone, welcome to Geek Decoders YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do beginner tutorial number 11 which is work with weeks in Power BI. So for that I use week num tax function to evaluate or elaborate how to use weeks in Power BI. So if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe to my channel for more Power BI videos. So let's go to the tutorial and see how we can achieve that. Right, so now I'm in the Power BI dashboard. So as you can see, I have loaded sales data which contains salesperson, item, sales value and the sales date. So those are the columns that we have uh, as my uh, data source. Right, so now my data source in the, is in the field section. So if we expand it, as you can see, item is there, sales date is there, salesperson is there, sales value is there. So if we further expand the sales data, we got a date hierarchy which contains year, quarter, month and day. So as you can see, we cannot find the weeks here. So that is what we are going to address in this tutorial. Let's see how we can do that. Right, so now we go to the report section and we add a visualization. Let's say we add a clustered column chart, right, to our pane, right. So then I add few fields. Let's say we add sales value as the values and then as the axis I add uh, sales date so as you can see now so this is how it looks now so we can further drill down as well so this is in the years level so we can further drill down into quarters into months into dates as well so this is the default functionality which is supported by power bi so now i'm going to show you how to add weeks uh, to this uh, power bi visualization as well let's see how we can do that right for that first i have to go to my data and i have to add a column so i can say week number equals i use week now function and then i use date that is sales uh, date and then I can say return type so return type would be if we want to add one so then it will be the week begins with Sunday and two would be week begins with Monday so if we if you don't give a value so it will defaultly take one but I give one here for the completeness right so now we enter right so now as you can see week numbers are added as a column right now now I have again back to my report so then I will uh, remove sales date here and I add week number column here as axis so as you can see now data is being displayed according to the weeks so we can get the sales value according to the week so if we add the label row so as you can see now the value size is being displayed and also we can say uh, x axis as category categorical so then as you can see it will display all the weeks so we can sort it as well sort it by ascending uh, and then here week number so accordingly we can see now correctly the values according to the weeks the sales values are can be displayed right further what you can do is you can add different values to the X axis, let's say if you want year, so you can add year here, right? So then you can add maybe we want month, so then we add month, right? So then we want week, let's say then after that we want dates, so we can add it like this, and then if we can select the turn on drill down, so if we can drill down it further, so year's values are is being displaying now, so now if we go further now months values are displaying now further weeks values are displaying now if you go further so we can get the dates values as well so this is how we uh, use uh, week num function to integrate weeks in power bi right so i hope you have learned uh, about the weeks how to use weeks in power bi so thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more power bi lessons and keep in touch thank you